This is an example of the US Army model 1942 first aid pouch. Available in light tan, dark tan, light olive, dark olive. In all cases, it has the standard pattern hook on the back for going up the pistol belt. In all cases, it will be manufacturer's marked and dated on the back. And in quite a lot of cases, it has US stamped on them. Issued well after World War II, you'll get them dated into the 50s. A 1950s one is equally acceptable for reenactment as a proper World War II one. This particular one, never been issued, made by the BS or Burst Manufacturing Corps 1942. Standard pattern first aid pouch. US Army was peculiar in that they were the only army to issue a specific pouch for the first aid bandage to go into. Normally other armies either wore it in the steel helmet necking material or they wore it in a pocket on the tunic or the pants. But the US Army were peculiar in that they were one of very few armies to issue an actual pouch for the first aid bandage to go into. Normally what will be issued inside this would be an oblong tin called the Carlisle First Aid Dressing Tin. Um, it was two part tin with obviously it had the base, it had the bandage inside it, it had a lid with the instructions embossed into the top of the lid problem with it was it was difficult to access it inside the pouch and when the soldier got it out of the pouch it was difficult to open in that before you actually opened it it had a tape around the top of it so you had to undo the tape and then open it to access the bandage inside many were dumped many of these carlisle pouches can be found unissued because they weren't very popular instead inside what you normally get is the standard issue two by two sterilized bandage in a card box the card box being easier to get out and access than the carlisle actual tin so in most cases the tin was dumped and they retained a cardboard package field dressing like this one no real difference in price they tend to retail at about four pound the carlisle first aid dressing tins tend to retail at five six pound a bandage like that in its packet that's the proper official issue would be a couple of pounds not expensive not rare but they are an essential part of your combat equipment if you're doing a world war ii american you need to have one of those so we'll dismount the camera and we'll take a look at it so just bear with me a second it has the usual lift the dot stood US stamped on the back BS or burst manufacturing core 1942 standard pattern hook this one's never been issued it was one of a batch that was found in a cardboard box back in the 1980s this is your typical military 2x2 two two US bandage made by the handy pad supply company Worcester Massachusetts instructions on the back inside you have the bandage so that would be a typical thing that would be carried inside that in lieu of the carlisle first aid dressing tin which was a bit cumbersome for the soldiers to get to so that's your standard u.s army world war ii first aid well not first aid dressing pouch